I can't remember. I was hurt and he found me, brought me back to his home. But he, he injected me with something and I think that's the reason why I have so few memories from the accident. He locked me up in that room and dreadfully wanted to know where was the entrance of the tunnel. <laughs> the poor bastard. I'd rather die than deliver that piece of information. Then that day came. I need to get out of this accursed forest. You hear me, rat? Show me how and I will let you go. I sometimes hear her voice. She is calling me. Calling me to return home. Where is the exit? Where? Show me where! I'll kill you like a dog if I have to. around the room and found some old clothes. Inside one of the pockets I found two pieces of wire and used the rags to make some bandages. I also used a little trick I learned while back. With a simple piece of wire I can make myself a lockpick. That's better. On the floor was the entry to a small cellar which I opened with the lockpick I had previously made. From there, I took a shovel and a flashlight and used the former to break down that damn door. Though it broke right after. I opened the door and... Apparently my unwanted roommate wanted to play a game. On a desk there was the syringe he used on me. I decided to take it as I will definitely have better uses for it than he did. As expected, the light wasn't working. In another room, I found a radio speckled with blood. With it, a few pages from what appears to be the doctor's journal. I took these as to read them later. Then, that's when I heard one of their voice for the first time. I didn't pay no mind to it and pushed the wardrobe that was blocking the door. On the other side was the generator, empty of any fuel, but also a metal table with leather belts strapped on. The unclear part was if it was used for chirurgical operations or torture. In a recess was also a crate, tightly locked, that I forced open. It contained an almost full jerry can of fuel and a table leg which looked sturdy enough as to be used to defend myself. I then used the gas to refill the generator and be able to see again. When I came back in the other room, I couldn't believe what I saw. The corpse had two dials instead of eyes. His mouth was wide open and I could hear a distorted voice barely distinguishable from the radio static. I couldn't believe it. That pile of garbage just gave me the code to the door. Who's there? Let me out! 
Oh yeah, I forgot. I wasn't the only one held captive in this cursed cabin. Help me. Come closer. Though apparently, the fool didn't want to team up. He had this weird plastic chick on him. I didn't know what to think of it at that time, so I took it with me. What a waste. They came in from everywhere. I had no chance. 